Hi, I'm Carolyn. Today I'm going to show you what to do when your harvest comes in for your lettuce. You've already given lettuce away to your relatives and friends. You've already eaten uh, as much salad as you can. And so you still have half a garden full of lettuce. And what do you do with it? So today I'm going to show you how to weld it. And when we weld it, after we're done welding it, we'll put it on um, cookie sheets, pop it in the freezer overnight, and then the next day we'll just take it out and put it in freezer bags. And then you can use it for stews, uh, soups, stir fries, anything you really want. So let's start with our, our pans. I'm going to go ahead and turn our pans on. I have cast iron pans and we can certainly do two pans at the same time. I have a little water here, so I'm just going to put a little water in both pans just to get it going. And then I'm just going to take uh, with nice clean hands, go ahead and put that right in our pans. Now, of course, you could use a pot if you if you don't have a pan, you can certainly use a pot, just put a little water at the bottom. And this is, um, I've never really did it before this year, so, uh, but my niece, Tara, gave me the recipe and I already froze some uh, this year and it's, it's looking great. So it's certainly something that you can do. Um, I've never really raised lettuce before. We already have the freezer full of ice cubes and uh, spinach. And so, let's see what we got. I'm just going to let that get nice and hot. We've already washed our lettuce two or three times. We're just gonna let that go ahead and cook. I'll dry off this cookie sheet. I accidentally wet it. So it's just cookie sheets. I, I didn't grease them um, because they, it came off very easily last time. But you know, if you wanted to, make sure it came off. Oops. You can certainly, you could certainly spray them. So we could certainly put a little olive oil spray on there while we're waiting. I had four. Okay, so we'll start with three. So this is what the wilted looks like. This is already starting to to happen for us. Won't be too much longer. Check this one. Just starting to flip them over. That way it's a nice and even all the way around. We don't want too much water in the pan. Just enough to help the lettuce to wilt. So, so far, just a couple minutes in, and we're already really um, seeing something happen here. Look at the difference in the size of the pan. Turn that stove off. And so we'll take it just a piece. We'll try to get some of that excess water off. And we're just going to make a little pile right on that cookie sheet. Try to get some of that excess water. Make another pile. That way it's a serving size when you want to pull it out of the freezer. You'll have serving sizes already to go. I'm going to add to that. So, so with two baskets of lettuce that I have to harvest today, um, you can see it, it will um, cook down rather nice. And it'll be a nice um, thing to be able to pull out for my soups this winter. I make a lot of soup. So tomorrow I'll show you, I'll take it out of the freezer, I'll show you what it looks like. And then we'll go ahead and bag it up for winter. Thank you so much for joining me today. Welcome back. Yesterday we wilted our lettuce. 
and then we put it in clumps in the freezer on um, cookie sheets. And today we're going to take them out of our, take them off of our cookie sheets and bag them up with freezer bags. You can use quart size or gallon size. And this is basically a serving size, but you can, of course, if you need two or three of them, take out as many as you need when you need them. So a lot of times when you have the quart size bags or you just put the year, so I'm just gonna put 2020 on the outside of my Ziploc bag. So that way you know what year you put these in the freezer. So we're just going to um, take them off with the spatula and see how many we can fit in our quart size bags. If I had freezer bags, I certainly would be using those instead because the side, the pumps are a little big. And there's a little, maybe, oops, little water ice there. I'm going to just pop that off. We won't leave that in our bags. It's just lettuce. And I did something similar with our spinach. Actually, it was a little different. I, um, I boiled my spinach, and then I dipped it in ice water bath for double the amount of time. I think it was three minutes in the boiling water and six minutes in the ice bath. And then I took, um, then I took uh, parchment paper and I lined my muffin tins with the parchment paper and I squeezed out my, my spinach. So that way I squeezed all the water out and I pushed it into my muffin tins. And so I have serving size muffin, um, a spinach, like a size of a muffin tin. They say that's about a cup. So um, I guess you could have, I don't know how you could have done that with the lettuce, but it is nice to know that you can freeze your spinach as well. So this is the first year that I can remember that we, we planted a garden of spinach and lettuce. And my goodness, uh, three little packs of, of uh, lettuce and spinach really filled up our garden <laughs> as a huge harvest. So um, if you're ever considering it, it was very easy. We sowed it uh, maybe in March, mid-March, and uh, this is now June, and we've been harvesting uh, for at least two weeks, three weeks. And it, it really, we need the, we need the garden empty so we can plant our tomatoes and the rest of our, our summer crops. That's why we're, we're harvesting before it turns to seed. So as you can see, I have five quart size. I'm just gonna put the, the year, oops, that's a little wet, so we'll let that dry. So this is how it turns out. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you get a chance to harvest your garden. We make a lot of smoothies in this house. So I'm gonna just take some lettuce. My hands are already washed. And my lettuce is already, um, I would say at least triple washed, maybe even more. I'm gonna just go ahead and place it down there. I took out um, pretty much all the little ends. I see a couple here but uh, I took them off already. I'm going to just go ahead and add some water. See what works. So what we're going to do is actually make ice cube lettuce um, trays and I'll freeze those and pop them out and when we're making smoothies with um, blueberries or peaches and yogurt and maybe some almond milk, we'll throw in one, of, one or two ice cubes of the lettuce and then it'll give it a little extra boost. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on four. Let me go ahead and add some lettuce to that. I think it's, let me just make sure it's not too, yeah, it's a little too watery right now. So we'll add some lettuce to that. So I harvested two baskets of lettuce and uh, what I'm showing you between this and I have three other strainers full 
is um, just one basket cleaned. So. Quite a bit of lettuce. You can only eat so many salads in there. It doesn't seem to be. I still see some pieces of lettuce. I don't think it's getting down in there. So let's just turn that around a little bit. Maybe once this is blended, we have to make sure it's blended well though to be in ice cubes. and blended it has a nice consistency we'll be blending it when we make our smoothies anyway so then we just have ice cube trays and we're just going to be pouring them into each one and then you'll put these in the freezer and then tomorrow I'll show you how we get them out of the trees. And then you'll just place them in freezer bags. So that's one tray. Okay, and then I'll put these in the uh, freezer overnight. And then tomorrow I'll take the ice cubes out and I'll put them in um, quart size freezer bags. And then you can just open up the bag and take out as many as you need when you're making your smoothies. Hi, welcome back. Yesterday we went ahead and, and blended our lettuce with a little water and put them in ice cube trays. Today we're going to pop them out and freeze them. So if so, basically all you have to do is pop your ice cubes out. I thought maybe we might need a pan of warm water to help us, but that popped right out. They're all popping right, right out. So we can move that pan out of the way. And these are based just uh, very inexpensive ice cube trays and uh, use any one, any one that you have. I actually borrowed these from a neighbor. It looks like I might have to replace them. All right, I'm just going to wipe my hands off. And then you just take uh, freezer bags. It doesn't matter if you use gallon size or quart size freezer bags or even a freezer container because you'll just take out what you need and then reseal the bag. So I'm just going to fill the bag up. Again, always remember to wash your hands before you start cooking for any project. So these will be used for smoothies. You don't have to buy uh, protein powders. You can make your own protein shakes at home that are probably healthier for you. You'll know all the ingredients that you're putting in. That's for sure. Okay. So you see, we're not really using a lot of bags bag so far. And you can do the same thing with baby food. So if you wanted to puree applesauce, homemade applesauce or pear sauce, you could put it in ice cube trays and um, just take out a cube. It's a perfect size for a baby with a little cereal. I did that for my kids, so uh, you're sure to know what's in your ingredients, what you're giving your baby, if you're making it from homemade. Okay, so we're all ready. If you want, you can just write the date here. So I could write um, 2020, so that way you know it's good for a year. And thank you for joining me. Take care. If you like this segment and you want to learn something new, just let us know what you're looking for by commenting, and um, we'll be happy to see if we can make it for you. Take care.